That was a great thing. That was my one good thing for the day. I can be mean to everyone else. I did my one good thing for the day, guys. I did one good thing, one good thing for the day, guys. Bike vlogger here. On a what walk, on a what walk. So I found this cool website. It's called Google Trends. It just shows you what's trending based on Google searches. And I found it interesting. Uh, I typed in bicycle commuting and it has been trending down like crazy down since the year 2000. Let's go this way. Since the year 2008, I think. I think 2008 it peaked and it's just been like on a crazy downtrend. Actually, can I go this way? It's been on a crazy downtrend uh, since then, which is kind of sad. But I think that doesn't really mean that less people are really bike commuting. I think it more means like there's less uh, people searching that term. Really, that's all it really means, I think. Um, like there's uh, more people searching other terms. And I actually did look that up. And there are more people searching the term uh, bike commuting than bicycle commuting. I think that's just kind of like a, a thing basically. It's just like not maybe necessarily those, I don't know. If you bike commute, do you still bike commute as much as you used to? Or can you work from home? Or are you like kind of flexible? Do you doing some days in the office some days not i think i think there may just be less people commuting period not just bike commuting but it is kind of sad to think that uh maybe there's less people bike commuting i still bike commute all year round, but it is kind of sad to think that maybe there are less people doing that no that's not necessarily a bad thing because that means everybody's commuting less right which is better for the environment because most everybody uh, uses a fossil fuel uh, generating vehicle. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, well not by the way, but <laughs> oh, my wrists. So I, I felt like, I don't know, it's almost been like two months now. My wrists still hurt, so I don't know. They don't hurt as bad. I think they're just sprained and it's gonna take, it's gonna take time for them to get better, so. That's the one annoying thing. Just taking time. Taking time, guys. Taking time, guys. Up the hill. Up the big hill. Up the hill, guys. Woo! Getting a good workout today. Getting a good workout today, guys. So yeah, I recommend you take a look at it. It's kind of interesting. I'm not sure how far back, the, I think the data goes back at least to the year 2004. Now keep in mind, the uh, Google search engine is older than that. Whew. But it's interesting because you can see not just what is uh, trending now, but how the trends have changed over like decades. So that's really cool. I didn't know such a thing existed, but it's interesting. Let's go this way, guys. Whew. So anyway, that's what I got for you this week. That's the topic of the day, guys. Topic of, it's actually kind of chilly still, even though it now is officially springtime in the Northern Hemisphere. It is, uh, it is chilly still. It's like some of these mornings, some mornings it's like below freezing still around where I live. It's still pretty chilly. But of course I got the fingerless gloves, so you know, I'm kind of dressed for the way back home, not the way to work. That's my bad. I just don't like carrying extra stuff away around. Just kind of grin and bear it. I'm gonna go left, I'm gonna go left. There's no one around, it's okay. There's no one around, I can see perfectly. Let's go this way. Whee! Why? Got like some Christmas lights over there. That's wacky. I think it's not, uh, for someone's uh, deck or something. Interesting. Interesting light colors. Oh, 
what are all these cars parked on the road for? I, I, I mean, I guess there are people who live above these businesses, so that must be what those cars are about. It's kind of weird though. This hour of the day, they have all these cars parked here and all the businesses are shut down. Yeah, it must just be those people who live above the businesses or something. That makes sense. Oh, look, a scooter, guys. <laughs> we found a scooter. They're still around, guys. It's a bird. It's a bird scooter. There's still bird scooters around. Wacky. Wacky, 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 guys. Whee! Stop. Stop. Actually going the wrong way down the street, but that's just because it's a... Uh, so actually, no, I'm not. This is actually a two-way section right here. And then you got to, like, move over here. And there's no stop sign or nothing really there. It's just... I don't know what you do with the signage back there, how you figure that one out. Or maybe it is one way, but it's like two way for bikes. Or maybe not, maybe I'm supposed to, I, I've always gone through that way. Maybe I was supposed to go down the alleyway. I don't think so though. Let's make a left here, let's go this way. We actually have to go this way anyway, we gotta go west. Uh, up another hill, it's like we just went down a hill. Now we go back up a hill. Whew. Wow. These morning, or, you know, dark rides, you guys. Whew. See, I used to, uh, I used to work late in the office, uh, but now I just kind of like, I work early in the office, and then I leave early. Well, leave early for the business hours, I guess, but I start before the business hours, so you know, I still get in my hours. Whew. Oh my gosh! Oh my goodness! Let's go straight here. Real quiet. Real quiet right now. Yeah, I can already feel my fingers getting cold. It's a really peaceful bike commute to really enjoy though. I mean, there's still some traffic around, but it's not much. So yeah, I guess I was just curious if you guys are still commuting, be it by bike or anything, as much as you used to, or if you actually uh, don't anymore, because you are you have a desk job or whatever, you, you can do your work from home. Don't let, your, don't let your employer tell you otherwise. I mean, it can be done. These things can be done. It's not really a security thing. There are things, there's so much stuff out there. It's surprising that, you know, it took this far into the 21st century for them to work that sort of stuff out. Whew. It just, I think it's just, there's a lot of things going against it besides just the fact that, you know, status quo. But, uh, you know, when you have workers in a city center or whatever, they're, you know, in the city center all day long. They're spending money for lunch. Or maybe they go to some bar or something after work, you know, and they're actually spending their money within the city in which they're earning their money. So it kind of keeps the tax revenue, you know, in the same area. You see, you see what I'm saying? Basically, it makes a lot of sense for a lot of people who wouldn't want, you know, people to be basically working from home. <laughs> I mean, the tax, the revenue is going to go somewhere still. It's just, it's getting moved around. The same people ain't getting the revenue. And that's why people don't like it, I think. Among other reasons. Whew. Oh man. That car is, uh, that, car, that car's kind of loud. Oh man. Who are we waiting for, guys? There's like nobody here. Who are we waiting for? I mean, look at this. There's nobody. There's nobody coming. There is a car parked over there across the street. I think it might be a police vehicle though. Just looking for speeders. Ain't gonna clock me at uh, greater than 20 miles per hour. Not up a hill at least. It stinks because when you're like you're in really good physical shape, you know, and then you get an injury and then you have to be able to be off the bike or whatever for a while. It's like, oh, I'm not, I'm not in my prime right now. It's gonna take me a little bit of time to get me back up to the same fitness level as that. 
I don't think I was ever able to go 20 miles an hour up a up a decent hill though. I was never that good. Never that, never that strong. Whew. If I don't have to stop for stuff, I can average 20 miles an hour, you know, on a commute, but I always slow down and stop for things. I kind of average about 15 miles an hour when I, you know, stop for stuff. That included. I mean, I see, like, the light is still green, guys. <laughs> and there's, like, no one around still. Okay, right, there goes a the guy. That is an Uber. That is an Uber. See it? He had the uh, purple thing. Hey, there. Uh, I don't know. I hit the button. Yeah. Oh, the light's been down for seven minutes, this guy said. Man, I, I feel his, I feel his misery. Because there's a cop car sitting across the street. You see it over there? There's a cop car, like, waiting for someone to run the red. But the red isn't changing. Okay, there it goes. Now it is. I hit the, I hit the pedestrian button. But here is a car coming, and the light just changed. The light changed because I hit the, uh, pedestrian crosswalk <laughs> I think that guy was scared to go see the cop car that's so weird oh man I feel sorry for that guy I don't know if I mean that would be an entrapment or whatever but like why wasn't the light working now of course he, he had every right to go through that red light uh, if he had actually you know if he, he said he was sitting there for seven minutes if you were sitting there for seven minutes you're it's legal it's legal around where I live, at least. You can go through the light. As long as there's nobody coming, even in a car, you know, you can go through the light. I talked about this last video or two ago about the uh, Idaho stop laws and how a lot of the uh, places around my country now are adopting, at least, you know, treat a stop sign as a yield sign. But many also are starting to treat stop lights as stop signs for bicyclists. Which, you know, eh. I totally agree with the treat stop signs as uh, yield signs because generally you're going to be on a road that has lower speed limits. Probably a residential road. However, I'm speaking from an urban, you know, person's, you know, out in the rural settings, I'm sure there's a lot of stop signs and stuff on very high speed limit roads you know country roads and stuff i would kind of treat that as kind of like a stoplight i'd probably want to stop because you don't know if someone's you know just trying to drive their corvette or something 100 miles down the prior put down the country road or something especially if there's like you know of course if there's blind spots and stuff of course you're gonna stop just makes sense Anyway, but yeah, that's that was weird. I'm sure the guy was exaggerating. I mean, seven minutes, really? <laughs> I, the only reason I kind of believed him when he said, I've been waiting this light for seven minutes. Do you know what's going on? It's like, I don't know what's going on, but... Uh, <laughs> there's a cop car, and we, I think he saw it. There was a cop car just sitting across the intersection, just sitting there. I don't know. I don't know. I like to not be a pessimist, but man, I don't know. That would make me uncomfortable. Uh, because he got himself in a spot, right? He was in a left turn lane, I think. So if he changed lanes out of the left turn lane to make a right turn, you know, so he didn't have to, you know, wait for the green necessarily, he couldn't because he'd be making an illegal lane change. You can't leave the left turn lane at a stoplight and go into another lane. I mean, I see, I see people do it all the time, but technically you're not allowed to do that, especially when he was all the way up at the intersection already and stopped. Uh, so yeah, man, he got his, <laughs> he must've been so happy. He should have thanked me. He should have just like, he should give me a bottle of water. I don't actually have any bottles of water. I should have brought my bottle of water, guys. Why did I do that? Man, bike blogger saved that guy's butt. I saved that guy's butt. That was a great thing. That was my one good thing for the day. I can be mean to everyone else. I did my one good thing for the day, guys. I did one good thing, one good thing for the day, guys. Woo! Da 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 da. 
da, 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 da. so yeah what is the deal with the bike commuting trending down it's kind of sad but i think it's just because commuting in, in general like i said is trending down that in conjunction with the fact that uh i think bike commuting is just kind of a more popular term than bicycle commuting and i kind of attribute myself to that since i am bike blogger i am not bicycle blogger although i think i did create a reddit account like a long time ago uh, under bicycle blogger or something because someone took bike blogger who would have taken a bike blogger right come on at least i'm not on like really any other social media anyway so it doesn't matter but still <laughs> wah, wah. hate it when people do that they take your handle what the high what the high all right about to work now guys so i hope you enjoyed my bike rides work today always got a new story for you guys always something interesting you see on your way to work getting a little more busy on the road here but anyways guys thanks for coming along and we'll see you next time like and subscribe like and subscribe Woo.